What's going on everybody? It's Scrollers FC and as you can see, it's hot out here. But another week, another video. Let's check out these figs. All right, first fig we're gonna look at is the Kadota fig. Now, like we said last week on the video, this one did have some branches that realistically would be getting pruned if that was uh, what we were doing this year. But I'm actually happy that it's putting on some growth. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, we were speaking previously about fig production as you can see Not really double bumps on this fig May not really get figs to ripen off this one this year Realistically, we need uh, figs to be on on the tree and forming by at the latest around 4th of July the week after so we'll be able to get a better judge of this fig soon but like I said I, I like the growth these these all these fig trees just got up potted recently so i like the growth on the kadota not going to complain about it anymore next we have the magnolia and a trained eye would realize this is in a three gallon pot instead of uh the four or five gallon pots the rest of the fig trees are in but that's okay the magnolia is doing solid it's got some nice growth as this main trunk here so it's got some nice growth along here again similar to the kadota really just singular bumps in there if the phone would focus no double bumps on this one just yet, but I mean, everybody's growing. I will be doing another feeding soon, so I can um, show everyone how the feeding goes. But that's the Magnolia right there. All right, next on base is the Olympian. On base, that doesn't make any sense. On deck is the Olympian. And here we go, seeing some remnants of a double bump, something like that. So could easily get some fig formation within this one very soon. And I mean, we have we do have new growth since the last video. So like I said, I'm not complaining. The shape is not ideal, but it's something we're going to work with throughout the year. So no complaints on the Olympian. No complaints at all. All right. Next up is the Chicago Hardy. And it is also the first fig putting on figlets for us. It has a few different figlets and multiple branches so we'll definitely get some nice fig production as you can see over here two figlets right there looking very nice i have not done any pinching or anything like that I, my belief is that since this tree most likely uh, started in a greenhouse earlier like i said i got this tree from a different location than the other trees so i'm believing this one got started a bit earlier and that's probably part of the reason that it's able to put on these figlets so far. Now, another thing I will say is, is that this Chicago Hardy is an early variety. You know, it's not just Hardy, but it's early. That's why the Chicago Hardy is such a nice fig for growers in areas like this. And once again, we are in basically Northwest Indiana, further south of Chicago. So zone 5B, zone six if you're being real generous but we all know it's zone 5b so that's the chicago hardy like i said figlets on it very happy next we have the issue of fig nice growth on this one and as you can see in here you have some nodes but i'm not sure if we're gonna see any double bumps on this one right now areas where there's definitely growth happening though i mean the tree is healthy like I said, all these all these fig trees were nicely fed very recently, and I do feed them every week. In fact, I probably am going to upload a video of me feeding the fig trees. Probably could record that when I got out of this damn heat. But, I mean, the figs are looking nice. Nice growth on this one. Nice praying leaves. If we can get some figs, yeah. But I'm not complaining. Just got to get some of this PM off. But like I said, it's been humid, sticky, and that's the issue. Next on deck is Little Ruby, and it is a Chicago Hardy type fig. As you can see right in there, if this was going to focus, we do have double bumps right there. So we will be seeing figlets very, very soon. Some growth down here. I, like I said multiple times, am not going to be doing any pruning, any pinching, any anything on these figs. I want these figs to focus primarily on what a young tree does and that's establish itself. Uh, you've probably heard it on many different YouTube videos, but in the first year you get a fruit tree, they sleep. 
the second year they creep and then they leap after that in the third year so right now everybody's supposed to be sleeping fig production is nice but you're supposed to be sleeping this year i want you to get established and get ready for the next year because i know we got a ton of fig stuff to come so little ruby's doing solid not complaining about the growth not complaining at all nice leaves out of here all right next up is beers black beers black is another one of those figs that luckily we have putting out some figlets so we will be getting a taste of this beers black i'm very excited about it knowing that it's a rdb type of fig so rdb vdb i'll i'll, I'll, I'll get the right answer soon but uh but definitely a nice type of fig nice addition to the collection it's going to give me a different kind of taste uh than some of the other figs that i have here so beers black like i said last week is doing very well you know so anyone that is new to the videos you can click on the video from last week and get a nice comparison to see how this one was doing but i'm very very happy with the beers black next up we got the ge neary this is the ge neary italian fig this one has a lot of growth coming in right towards the center. This wood, a lot of this stuff would end up kind of getting pruned back. But like I said, you know, in fact, I won't even say it again because y'all know what I'm talking about. But, you know, we see in here, not really any sign of double bumps. So may or may not get figs off this one. Again, we really have around three to four more weeks of potential fig formation after that not really too too much we can do about it today is june 16th so like i said literally around three weeks from now will be july 6th if i don't see any figs on on these trees before say a month from now july 15th it'll be very difficult to ripen these most of my figs in my collection are early varieties that will ripen uh, within my season so hopefully we'll get a decent amount of figs in total but i'm not expecting any fig maybe other than that chicago hardy to put off any more than say six or seven figs max all right next up i want to say that this is yep white marseilles which if we look in here we have some single bump formation so really primarily just uh growth nodes in here and that's like like i said that's all right I like um, I like that the figs are growing. I like that they are establishing. That is my primary goal this season, is the establishment of all of my fig trees. If my fig trees are well established this year, I will be able to get astronomical growth and astronomical gains from my figs in consecutive seasons, which is the goal. Like I said, that is the goal. Figs is not the goal this year. I would love figs this year, but that is not the goal this year. All right everyone's most disrespected fig the italian honey right here and this one is like i said doing very well all the figs are doing very well not seeing any figlet formation anywhere within the within some of the lower branches not even seeing any double bumps as you can see that is just a single bump right there so we will have to hope for some nice growth in these figs within the next five or six weeks it has been blisteringly hot out here i don't know if you saw my sweat in that first little segment it has been blisteringly hot so the figs need a ton of water to grow and um it's just been kind of difficult to keep them hydrated throughout the entire day i am watering these guys at this point up to three times a day the last few days have all been above 95 degrees and if you know northwest indiana south of chicago at this time mid-june 95 degrees is a bit ridiculous so you know we're we're right we're not playing with the best situations but hey you know that that's that's what that's what growing's all about growing's about adapting growing's about making stuff happen even when the situation isn't necessarily ideal and that's what we're out here doing we're, we're growing so we're going to keep on growing right on to lsu purple probably the only fig oh well, no nah, the, the other figs are enjoying the heat but this one I'm, I'm assuming is enjoying the heat a whole bunch some of these leaves are getting a bit battered like i said it's it's been not only has it been super hot but it's been ridiculously windy we had a uh, tornado warnings the other day so you know battle tested battle ready we'll get some of these coming back stronger but lsu purple like i said in the past video has been the one that has been struggling the most so you know we're, we're gonna get lsu purple coming correct very very soon 
So just another quick run through the Kodota. Which one is this? Magnolia here. Olympian. Chicago Hardy. I want to say this is Ishia right here. And I, I am trying to get better with identifying fig leaves, as you can see. The different um uh, let me let me not even ruin my biology bio, biological uh reputation by butchering a bunch of leaf anatomy so but i am i am trying to learn more about general fig shape and all that fig texture to the leaves and as you can tell this is clearly a, a different variety than the rest like you know so the figs are all looking very well all right Let's get in the garden and check out the rest. All right, and now we're checking out the in-ground Chicago Hardy. Again, if you remember from the previous videos that I've made, this Chicago Hardy did have some nasty dieback with some, some wood rot right in here. And it actually has kind of just ignored that completely and, and put on a ton of new growth. There's five total new shoots. So once again, if your fig is in-ground in zone five, it is difficult to avoid dieback without um, what I really would say kind of excessive protection for something I don't know is necessarily uh, needed. This fig was essentially dead to most people. This fig would have been dead. It did not grow as quick as the other in-ground Chicago Hardy. It had splits down its wood really to the base of the wood. So, I mean, for the for a, a plant to recover from this type of situation, I mean, clearly this, this fig this, these figs are, are built to die back and come back year after year after year. So do not be discouraged by, by Chicago Hardy looking really rough in ground. I know a ton of people uh, asking about how do you protect your fig trees over winter? And I'm running these experiments now. That's why I have a potted Chicago Hardy and two in-ground Chicago Hardys. I really do want to know what is the difference i won't really be able to get a good test this year because like i said all of my figs woke up at different times mainly because i purchased a lot of my figs this year but i i am very interested in seeing the difference in between the in-ground chicago hardies the potted chicago hardies and just to see consistently like how am i going to get the best quality figs from chicago hardy and this specific chicago hardy type but all right let's get to it a few more figs to check out all right, back at the Chicago Hardy in ground at this little grapevine to get out the way. So, in ground Chicago Hardy, again, this is the one that uh, I purchased. It had complete dieback down to the roots again, like I said. But, in all honesty, these were not protected at all from the elements. I basically just put these trees in and walked away because I was really interested to see how hardy they really were. Now this one did not suffer the same um, splits in the wood like the previous Chicago Hardy did. So if you are growing figs in zone five, maybe even some colder zone six areas, you should expect something like this. This is, and as you can check from the videos that I have been posting weekly, this is a few weeks worth of fig growth, which is almost roughly around the size of some of my smaller potted figs. And this is all the growth it's put on so far this season. Now, again, if we want figlets to, if we want figs to form on these trees, we will need figlets within the next month, month at the latest. That gives us really only about 75 days of prime ripening time. And that's pushing it for most varieties of figs. So we're gonna see what we can do with this Chicago Hardy. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how much growth it's been able to put on in this amount of time from four different shoots. I mean, I easily could have, you know, cut it, cut it down and, and done some, you know, excessive pruning. But like I said, I have no real intention of doing any pruning this year. Um, I know pruning, you know, if, if any should be light, I'm not doing any. So we'll see. And, and I mean, if, if anyone's interested in comparing their results to mine pruning or not i mean as you see i have figlets on my potted potted uh potted trees so you know it'll be a good comparison and that's what the community is for so let, let's let's compare let's talk and, and let's let's you know figure out how we can as a community in zone five grow figs the best way so now last but not least we do have brown turkey 
which is the California brown turkey. And as you can see, I mean, this, this was a tree that I did purchase uh, fairly large. It has put on a decent amount of growth. Um, looks like some double bump action right in there. See if we can see any more. I'm actually, this is my first look at this fig. And since, well, since I did watering earlier, because, you know, like I said, it's been pretty hot. But, I mean, we, we should have some, some nice figlets. Like, that could be a figlet right in there. So, definitely excited to see uh, brown turkey's uh, production. And hopefully we can get some really nice production off this brown turkey. This little butterfly guy right over there landing on the prickly pear. But, back to the brown turkey. Excited to see what uh, brown turkey puts out for us. This is by far the largest in ground tree. So I uh, could, I'm, I'm considering doing some hardiness test on this. Uh, some of my theories are just excessive mulching. Uh, maybe doing a layer of mulch to around right here. So that would be around three or four inches of mulch right at the base of the tree. I mean, as you can see it, it's a, it's a pretty thick stem. So I believe that it will be hardier due to how thick the stem is. And I'm interested in seeing, again, you know, just really interested in seeing how these zone five figs are gonna work. There is not a lot of content covering zone five figs at all. So, I mean, if anyone else, you know, is in zone five growing figs, I'd really recommend you to, you know, comment on some of these videos. Let me know what's working for you all. Let me know what the, the, the best strategies are for, for getting these figs up and running. I mean, we, we all want fruit, you know, let's, let's be self-sustainable, but it takes a community to get to these points. You know, we all gotta let people know like what works and what doesn't. And, you know, just keep on rocking, you know, doing, doing what we gotta do. Let's get these figs going. Let's get Figgy out here, you know? But I'm gonna leave you guys off there. It's hot as hell i'm trying to get inside so thanks everyone for watching the video i appreciate all the support all the subs everyone that's new here man love y'all really can't wait to put out some great content for everyone and and let's just all learn together man let's let's make this a a, a, a huge fig community you know zone five man let's get it growers fc i'll see you guys on the next one peace